Elon Musk say it best, and I am paraphrasing here. You don't want to make people live a miserable or poor life. You want to create products so people can live a better life. 70% of our planet or surface is covered with water. The question is, how come some part of the world is having water crisis where seven out of 10 of our planet or surface is water? In this video, I will submit some very well-known solutions that can help solve this water crisis. By the way, the animation are just for visual and learning purposes and do not reflect the complexities of this topic. So please take it with some precaution. So in my view, the solution of the water crisis around the world is an engineering solution and a political will solution. First solution is called desalination. Desalination refers to the removal of salt and minerals from seawater to produce water suitable for human consumption or irrigation. Many countries around the world use this technology to provide fresh water for human use. There are now about 21,000 desalination plants in operation around the globe. The biggest ones are in the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, and Israel. As of today, the world's largest desalination plant is located in Saudi Arabia, Ras Al Khair Power and Desalination Plant with a capacity of more than 1 million cubic meters per day. Desalination is currently expensive compared to most alternative sources of water. However, there is growth in desalination for agricultural use in highly populated areas such as Singapore. Desalination also provides method to produce fertilizer from the salt that is removed in the desalination process. So desalination is an artificial process by which saline water, generally sea water, is converted to fresh water. The most common desalination processes are distillation and reverse osmosis. The energy consumption of the desalination process depends on the salinity of the water. Despite the issues associated with desalination processes, public support for its development is very high. One survey of a Southern California community saw about 72% of all respondents being in support of desalination plant development in their community. So for places like the state of California, where you have literally the Pacific Ocean right there on the coast, passing bills to build hundreds or thousands of desalination plants can be a great solution to solve the water crisis or dry out issues. If someone have a gas or diesel car, instead of asking them to drive less their car, just build a better and affordable electric car like a Tesla car and they will switch eventually by their own. In other words, try to create better products and better solutions so people can live a better life. This solution is just an engineering problem and with political will, it can be done quickly in very few years. And to learn more about great ideas and great skills, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned on what is coming next. You can check my courses like the Amazon Leadership Principle course or a brief introduction about America and a lot more. Links in the description below. Next solution, building water pipes. In many places around the world, we have excess water in one part and then dry out in others. For example, in the United States, the East Coast usually has excess water with flood zones and the West Coast has dry out, so not enough water. So this solution is very simple, building water pipes and flood canals to connect the East Coast and the West Coast. So anytime you will have floods in one side, the excess water can be transported to the dry out zones, like directly to the Colorado River, for example, for the United States. And to quote Antoine Lavoisier, French chemist who formulated the law of the conservation of mass, quote, nothing is lost, nothing is created, everything is transformed. So the excess on one side will solve the needs on the other side. Just connect them together. Now, once you have implemented these two great solutions, building desalination plants and enough water flood pipes and flood canals, then you can start talking about other solutions like increased water conservation and efficiency, groundwater and water recycling. Groundwater can also be a solution on a case by case basis. Water recycling is also a great solution. For example, most of the water wasted in our homes, water from the kitchen, from the bathroom, can be 100% recycled 
and then used for agriculture or irrigations or other needs. Honorable mention to water towers. A water tower is an elevated structure supporting a water tank constructed at a height sufficient to pressurize a distribution system for portable water and to provide emergency storage or fire protection. The same way we have a computer in every house, if you can afford it, you can build a water tower for every house for emergency use. You can check my YouTube video to learn more about water towers. So as you can see, we have all the solutions to solve any water crisis where 70% of our planet or surface is covered with water. From desalination to water pipes, to recycling water, to groundwater, to water towers, among many others. The only thing we really need is good leadership and good political will. Like Lavoisier will say in French, rien ne se perd, rien ne se crée, to se transform. Or in English, nothing is lost, nothing is created, everything is transformed. Let me know your solution to solve the water crisis in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one, my friend.